So hello, uh, I'm very appreciate to share about piano music, uh, Japanese piano music. Um, maybe um, I'm not good at English. If I can speak a well, maybe uh, I help. I, I uh, ask to ask to help uh, my friend, Mr. Ryo Asegawa. Okay, so let's start. So, characteristic of Japanese piano music. Okay, so it's my biography. Uh, I'm now I'm living in Tokyo. I often play Japanese piano music and graduation exam or competition, some competition. And there, is, there are many pieces for piano music in Japanese, uh, Japanese piano music. Japanese piano, Japanese piano music is, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's very, not, not, con, not so contemporary, but modern, modern style. First, what do you imagine about Japanese music? Uh, this picture is uh, most one of the most famous traditional arts. Uh, it's no and koto. So I'm showing movies. How do you feel about this movie? Uh, no, no performance. Uh, there is no musical, no musical tone. It's uh, like a shout. And, uh, and I would like to listen Koto. Ah, okay, okay. Nice to Back to at the next page, and I think koto music koto sounds uh, contain rich uh, over note over over tone, and I think the characteristics of Japanese traditional music is three point uh, first pentatonic scale. Uh, Japanese scale is consists five note and concept of silence uh, in Japanese called ma and kanji uh, wrote this and no musical note no musical note is I think it's not shout or uh, it's not noise music but no musical note is a. Uh, um, it's it not has has pitch, but it's very important of music. So next page, please. Ah, can, can you okay? Oh, sorry. Uh,
please go back one page. Maybe on my mistakes. So uh, next two two pages. Next page, sorry. Oh. どこのページに行けばいいのページ消えちゃってるな。さっきまであったの。うん。そういう、3ページ、almost 3ページ、バニッシュ。ああ。OK。そう、continue。そういう。ああ。This piece are composed by アキラミヨシ。Uh, it's produced by Pian Duo。リンクないと。ああ。何が必要いや、今ね、リンクを送るからちょっと待って。Okay. チャットに流してもらえばいいですよね。あ、チャットに流す。うん So his like three of his slides are gone for some reason. So that's why. Okay, I, I send message. Space is was wrote composed、um, by chorus style. Yoshi Akira Akira Miyoshi composed many chorus piece.、Uh, in Japan, chorus music is very popular. I don't know why exactly, but many important composers. Uh, Takemitsu and Miyoshi and Mamiya published works for chorus. And this text are almost Japanese poem or fairy tale and Japanese pen pentatonic scale. And it's often used with melodies. On the other hand,、uh, 
um, piano music was composed French, almost French style. Uh, like, for example, did you and Claude Debussy? And so next, uh, we listened at what at your message of that message. Pian Sonata by Akira Yoshi. It is completely different. Uh, this music, like, um, sounds like, did you, Henry, did you, um, it's the music, uh, this prelude and this piano sonata is completely different. So, but Japanese piano music, or uh, especially piano sonata, is like a French style because many composers, famous composers in Japanese, uh, Japanese composers study abroad to conservatory in Paris and study under studied under Pierre Sankan and duty also important French composers. On the other hand, so I would like to share Tor Takemi's music. This piece is Rain Tree Sketch.
Okay, thank you. Uh, Tō Takemitsu was born 1930. He's older than Akira Miyoshi. Um, he, he studied almost his himself uh, about composing. And he's known for combining combining elements of oriental and occidental philosophy and for fusing sound with silence and transition with innovation. He was also a founding a member of the Jitken Kobo experimental workshop in Japan. Uh, it's good of avant-garde artists who distances to academic. It's very interesting. Uh, you know, we, uh, how, how, how you can say, probably you, already know about music concrete. It's very interesting that those group for experimental music were founded in almost the same years, um, maybe 1951. Uh, the GRM in France was founded in 1951 by the uh, engineer and composer Pierre, Pierre Schaeffer. Takemitsu was very strongly influenced by him and tried to compose electronic and experimental music. But he didn't study music university at music university or study abroad conservatory in Paris. He studied himself and rain three sketch number two in memoriam memoriam oliver mission its title is a rust solopian basis composed by Tom takemitsu uh, he remembered mission whom he had been influenced influenced since his youth and composed his song for the Memorial Concert for Oregon International Music Festival in France. Okay, so next page, please. Michio Mamiya. Uh, he's, he's a living composer, but very old. Old man. He wrote, also he wrote many pieces for chorus and also chamber music, orchestra music, film music, and piano music. So let's listen composition for chorus.
very wild music, <laughs> I think. Uh, in this place, uh, he wrote no musical note, musical tone, uh, like a sh shout. He wrote crusta, um, like, like, like a crusta sound uh, very well. And he wrote also crusta called and piano, his piano music. So, actually, number two. Thank you. Back to present PowerPoint and can turn the next page. Okay, thank you. See the first code. Uh, it's not cluster, a general cluster, but uh, it's containing any chromatics, but um, Uh, um, but this code is uh, how I can say it. deployed. No, 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 deployed. This this code is deployed, not uh, dense. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, can you understand? Okay. So the call harmony is sound beautiful, not dirty. Is that's why he 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 wrote very well to uh control harmony. So next. Page. Uh, it's this piece composed by my teacher Noria Tanaka. He's um, maybe a famous composer in overseas. He wrote also a natural urban tone, uh, like uh, Takemitsu. He said Takemitsu did didn't compose Allegro, but the resonance and ha some harmony is originality great. And Mr. Uh, Professor Norias Tanaka write uh, chose no each each note by natural overtone. And repeat, repeat again, again. We feel like a trance, like a tra trance. Oh. 
Okay. So next page, please. Finally, uh, I'd like to introduce Subaru. Uh, no, no, it's wrong. Motoharu Kawashima. He is currently professor at Quintachi Music University. This place is site rhythmic la by Motoharu. It is interesting. Seems very funny, but he expressed uh, with his hands and his legs and mouth, and very random rhythms expressed. And um, in the fact, uh, I had a plan. Uh, Three, uh, just a minute. I should have been to participate to Hamas International Piano Competition in this year, but this competition has canceled. This comp competition commission to Motohar Kawashima for uh, compassion repository. So next page, next page. I can can okay. Uh, this page is commission piece, a uh, title Hama complex. Uh, Hamakon is ha uh, mean Hamamatsu competition and complex the double meaning. It is very unique idea because uh, look at the left page um, there the all concerto in the final repertory uh, A to J uh, Tchaikovsky Briest, Chopin, Schumann, Brahms, Mozart, Beethoven, Prokofiev, Rachman, Rabel and each famous passage uh, wrote and, and this piece. First is John John John, it's uh, by Tchaikovsky. And next is Risto of Pen Country Number One by Rist. And can you turn next page? And Chopin or and the end of right page check uh playing Tchaikovsky concerto but with the mark of the B C D E F G. So we we should play many 
motif of concerto during this piece. The next page, please. It's a, like a cadenza uh, of other rhythm, other rhythm, imp um, improvisation. Okay, next. Okay, uh, I finished to introduce Japanese music. A uh, last one, uh, Motohara Kawashima is uh, very characteristic and but strange. But now, uh, today, in Japan, in, in Japan, uh, there are many unique composers. But I love modern. Uh, not not contemporary. I, I love modern piano music in Japan. Uh, they are influenced influenced by French music because they study abroad to Paris and influenced by chorus music because uh, in Japan chorus is very popular in school education. And effective science. Uh, you listen Takemitsu music by Takemitsu and Noria. Uh, you don't listen, but you see the score Noria Tanaka. Their score contain very uh, many rest and silence. It is oh, originally from Japanese traditional music. Uh, like a no koto shamisen or oh. and final nat finally uh, natural overtones after Takemitsu uh, Takemitsu uh, innovated amazing sound of not tonality but not Dodecaphonic or something. Uh, they success success to make beautiful sound, but it is very complicated sound. Oh, <laughs> just just finished. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't know more. I don't know why, but. Uh, my some pages in PowerPoint was vanished, vanished, and I can't see, see the some scores and pictures. I'm very sorry, but thank you for listening, listening. And if you have interesting in Japanese modern music. Uh, Please play or introducing over world. I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yusuke. So, does anyone has any questions? Yeah, yeah, I, I have uh, one small question to use. Okay, thank you very much for sharing, uh, you know. I, you. I think it's nice to have, you know, performer. It's great. I mean, it's great to have performer to say things and and also to share. Because, like, for example, I, I don't play, I don't play piano. I would say that. Uh -huh. I don't piano, you know, and, and I feel like there's so, so much repertoire, right? Like, from, you know, um before classical era like modern music and now it's like that there, there's so much and of course like we can see um the relationship between japanese figure and, and you know like experimentalism people like jikobo uh people from fluxus right like the experimental scene there's such a variety happen uh, in you know in Japanese society plus the piano music so I would like to ask you like personal question about um, how how do you see yourself um, performing 
music for piano and also what kind of um, music that you would like to contribute to the society like in simply word what do you like to do <laughs> like because I, I can see like you analyze many things right but I didn't see like what you really like to do so maybe you can share about that to us that would be great thank you mm. Uh, actually, uh, last month, uh, I and me and Mujita, member of Mujita, uh, held a workshop uh, called Mujita Autumn Festival in Tokyo. Um, there are three workshops: uh, improvising, improvisation, and piano for okay. general, and. Toge Nana Toge it's called the pottery art. Yeah. Yes, yes, this. And fruit art or and painting. Um it's very nice ex exper experience for me. So uh I would like to I hope to play for general people uh i can i can say well not so do you mean do you mean like you want to play for people who are not only musician but also for general public yes like, yes yes who would who would and, access to your art right like who yeah, can, yes, yes, yes thank you yeah, yeah sure i understand don't worry so like who who can appreciate what you're doing Am, am I right? So, yes. Um, for the people and child, children, um, I can play modern and you know, contemporary music and Japanese or uh, also European modern music or Asian, Asian music. Uh, maybe children and general people appreciate and have would would be would have be uh have interesting it more than classical music Mozart or Beethoven is okay but modern music is more interesting for uh living people so I'm happy to share some modern music or the, sorry, the history also introduce the history of uh, classical to contemporary. So <laughs> how, how can I say? Like, I think that's clear. I, I think I, I like what, what, what uh, Yusuke is really sincere, you know, like how, how he expressed is about like, it's very personal, like about like, okay, like he wants you to, he feel like the modern um, culture, it's more enact to, to now, right? Like rather than like having, like Beethoven, but I mean, it's great anyway, it's, it's good, like Beethoven is good, but it's just like in the way that right now, 2020, 21, 22, right? So we, we try to shape our society with, with something new. So, but thank, um, you. thank you very yeah. much. Anyone has any comments or questions? Yeah, I have a quick question for you, Ske, uh, if that's okay. Um, so, Obviously, you're Japanese, and uh, when you, you play music, piano music written by Japanese composers, versus piano music written by other composers from different countries or different origins, do you like interpret the music differently, or like do you think that you would approach differently to the music that were written by Japanese composers versus other composers? Like, do you have any special like approach uh -huh. to Japanese or, or is it everything sort of the same approach? 
maybe I think almost same. It is not different because uh, I would like to. I hope to tell you uh, about modern music and Beethoven. Beethoven classical music is almost same because the language of music is um, very general. General. I can say the rhythm by music, yeah, by note and note, 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 note and note, and harmony. So, but it is difficult to interpret, interpret it to a different country and or different century, different era. Uh, it's if this piece has long, long distance for me, it will be difficult, more difficult. But I often I can't understand about Japanese music because uh, despite I'm Japanese, because they are they have their own musical musical language and musical background. So I think almost I don't uh, change my attitude to pieces or composers. That's okay. okay. Yep. Sanakan, do you have a questions? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yes, Yusuke, thank you very much for um, chatting us about uh, Japanese composers and artists. Um, actually, I have a question. And it's actually for both uh, Yusuke and Ryo. Uh, first of all, like, I, I really like, like when you mentioned about, at the very be beginning of your presentation, you mentioned about the concept of Ma, concept of silence. And I find it very, very interesting because the, the concept of Ma is actually very, uh, I, sorry if I'm wrong, but I think it's originate, originated from China, right? Confucius, which referring to um, the progress of a space that started from, no, it's referring to the edge of um, life, like birth and death, technically like uh, from emptiness to something that growing. And also like I noticed that in Japanese, you embrace this idea with the, the concept of a negative space, for example, like a uh, ikebana, like a, uh, you know, flower decoration and uh, kare sansui, like um, Japanese, stone garden which you gradually create something from the emptiness and allow it to grow from within that space um, so for the question it's going to be divided into two the first one um, i want to know like how japanese people and especially you two since you are um, both japanese and artist conductor performer how do you embrace this concept um, in in your practice and the second part is since you both of you are like um, experienced with uh, Western music, and I find it very interesting in which the, the, the Western music itself, the concept of space is uh, a little bit from um, from the east part of the world, like like Southeast and East Asia, in which like in the in the Western part, they embrace both um, positive space and negative space together. Like for example, uh, Dutch artist uh, Etcher. So just my question, like when, how did, how does um, the, the Western music or Western concept affect um, this concept of Ma in Japan or not, or it just has nothing to do with it? Uh, can I answer or can I put my thoughts? Thanks for uh, uh, question, Tanakam. Um, yeah, I think that's a great question. Uh, I think from a Zen standpoint, uh, the concept of Ma uh, I've read uh, is that it's it's about the incompletion. Um, it's the this sort of isolated and you know, 
Sean, uh, our uh, the, the another guest from Murita, he would he he's like an expert on this, so he he will be able to talk about this more like really well. But from my study about Zen, the ma you know is taking part of the idea of incompletion in in Japanese art or Japanese aestheticism, and most of the artworks uh, in Japanese, like even like a calligraphy. There's another concept called the ikkaku, which you just kind of draw it without stopping it, and that's it. You don't really like uh, revise or you don't like you know retouch anything. You just kind of do it at once. Even if it's incom incomplete, even if it's not perfect, even if it's not like um, symmetrical, that's the that's the final product. And you know, people find it, a lot of you know empty spaces, like you said. Uh, but we kind of keep it because our sort of sense of uh, beauty or aestheticism is the uh, sort of this idea of ikkaku. You just kind of do it, put all the you know spiritual energy into one time you know uh, creation. So I think I think that's you know for the same as for music i think you know not just to be lazy or not just to you know um like do it like you know like uh in lazy manner but just kind of putting our thoughts and energy into one you know time uh opportunity and really you know create a the you know the best energy best performance with our full of energy uh, and then whatever it's left is okay because it's it's you know it's a part of the making process. Uh, so I, I see I see that like more sort of that way in terms of ma. And the second question, I'm still figuring out uh, actually the influence from Western music, Western to uh, Japanese. Uh, it's I've been kind of doing some research on the Takemitsu's November Steps how uh, our brain uh, um, like reacts to certain music that were combined with uh, Eastern instrument and the Western sort of uh, orchestra of horses and how it, how it differs uh, like to, to react to those kind of music versus just Western music. And yeah, I have you know, much more to go in terms of my study and but yeah, I think that's a definitely interesting topic to explore uh, as, as Japanese. And, you know, even like, you know, I'm sure that there are some Thai, uh, like traditional music that are you know, distinct from Western, you know, tonality or rhythm or harmony. And that's something that I would be really interested in um, exploring in the future. Thank you so much. Sorry, uh, my laptop turned off. Yeah, I, I think I have a question for you, Rio. So, like, I really like your ideology about the about Murita concept. Like, you want to shape the society, you want to shape the culture, you want to share art to people. But one of the problem that is quite a big challenge for you and I think also for us too, is that is to less budget for musical and art sectors from our nations, right? Including the educational purpose budget. So you, you say that you like in, in Japan, you got only like 0.1% from the whole nation budget, right? I actually don't know from how much Thailand paid for art and musical sectors, but I'm quite sure that it's going to be very less, I think. The question is like, do you have any plan to tackle these sectors? Like to tackle the people, to tackle the government about, about these kind of budget to improve arts and musical sectors? Thank you, thank you, no popcorn. Um, yes, <laughs> that is uh, definitely a 
yeah million dollar question right how yeah. to how to raise money for this because people are not interested in and countries are not interested in like who would be able to support um to be honest i do not have a concrete plan and i don't know uh, any good strategies at this point um but uh one of uh my experience uh working in the united states uh gives me some hint of how we can involve with the people and how we can get support is um a lot of a community building mm -hmm. so not just only hey here we're gonna have a concert hey we're gonna have an event hey we're gonna just you know invite artists and have them talk but rather we engage with the community uh we 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 probably start targeting a small one specific community and just thinking about their needs and you know of course around the, the, the surrounding the topic of art and education uh, art and music but like what the community needs from us mm -hmm. and we try to kind of answer that Mm -hmm. So we work with the community, we work with the city, we work with the people in the community who might be wealthy. Uh, so we have to identify which community will be targeting, which community will be um, partnering and working with together. Uh, so of course, you know, uh, along with working with the community, along with working with the city, mayor, uh, we have to, we need the support and we will get the support for what we want to do. But also we have to kind of answer their needs. Um, so it's just all about the co collaboration and you know, community building is something that I uh, found effective uh, working in the United States, especially when I'm doing my music uh, festival in Florida. Uh, we started finding out all the people who want to support art, but you know, we just cannot do just, hey, here's a bunch of artists. We're going to present that to you. But we really need to see what the what the community needs. And if we try to kind of, you know, present that, the community will sort of respond by supporting, donating. So that's something that maybe I, you know, one of the things that I've been kind of thinking about to do in Japan, although you mentioned that there is a hard, uh, it is very hard. It is very hard. Um, yeah. If you have any ideas, please feel free to share with me. Please, <laughs> I mean, I know, I know you all are like uh, expert on the, you know grant writing and stuff, but you know that also takes up a lot of time, and you know uh, it's it's difficult to. But yeah, uh, please feel free to share with us because we really need an idea of how to get the support for sure. Maybe the the most expert people is. The man right here, Pia Watt. True. <laughs> Maybe yes. most I'm not sure that I'm expert. experienced people about yeah. this topic. I think I think it's about um, like just to you know just to wrap up quick about this. So it's about um, art artistic versus services, right? So yeah. like we, we we have to kind of balance. I mean, if we want to get money. We have to kind of like balance between like oh what we like to do and what we would like to contribute, right? So it's kind of like crashing. But then I think I think we we both like you know like our organizations we we will keep learning about that you know mm -hmm. like uh, through collaboration, through performances, through creative thinking, through new colleagues. So that, that's always like, you know, every time when we work with different people from different countries, we always get new techniques, you know, like new tips, like new network, new um, something like we haven't explored yet. So it's kind of like a key of um, the working process is to connect, connect more uh, hidden people, you know, like try to like, like, like you, like you do, like when, when you said about like to give the first steps to to people to to make art to that that's a good thing because in the future once like many people keep succeed keep doing good things they they will remember you and you know like keep helping the society even much better 
so I think this is what we are doing now, right? So like, uh, like even now, uh, having project, you know, in Thailand, in Japan, something else, maybe in the future. So that's a uh, that's my re relief for now. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you very much. Great time. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you, Rio. Thank you. Thank you, Rio, for beautiful presentations and. Beautiful